Hello fellow designers, in this video I'm going to show you how to insert any image into any shape in both Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator, so stay tuned. So inserting images into shapes is a very useful technique and a very useful tool because you can make images like this. So this technique, you can create photo albums, photo montages, or even mockups and stylescapes. So let's go right ahead and make this image in Photoshop. All right, we're going to start this design off by making a shape and you can make any shape where the image you're trying to put inside of it. Uh, it can be any shape, basically. So we're going to hit the letter U. And we're going to make a perfect square by hitting the or holding the shift and right about so give or take we are going to get rid of these outlines these strokes make it a solid color we're going to make it a red on purpose and then command t to transform it and we're going to want it right about there in the center and then we're going to move this give or take down here then we're gonna hit Command A, then the letter V, then center it up here, right in the middle. Deselect that. Then going to the layer up here on that shape you just made, hitting Command J to make a copy of it. We get that copy. And right about there, going back to the layer again, Command J, make another copy of that and center it, up, center it off right there, give or take. Then I have the images already here that I'm gonna use for this design. I'm gonna start off with this one. We're gonna move it to that layer. So basically what you want is to make sure you pick the, the shape that you want the image to go inside of. Make sure that the image is above the shape and then right click that image after you select the layer and clipping mask. Let me show you that again. Right click. Create clipping mask. Then command T to transform the image. Once you select the image in the layer and then holding shift, you pull the corners and then left click twice and you basically rinse and repeat the same process you grab that second image right there move it above the the shape you want and then right click on the layer create clipping mask select the image again it'll transform it grab the corners hold shift to whatever size you want. And about that size, give or take preference. Then you grab the last image. Command T to transform. Pull the corners. Remember to hold shift. So, so what happens if you don't hold shift is when you command T to transform and you try to shrink it, it starts warping. Command Z. So right click on the image. Once again, make sure it's above the shape. Command T. Left click twice. Now let's add some text to this. I'm just gonna make something up here. The, let's change the color of that text to black. Center it, give or, give or take right there. Command J on that text, makes a copy. Command T to transform, move it down. Double click on the text. Typing in there, Smiths. Command T on the text again. There you go. Gonna add a little line on the bottom to give it a little flare gonna get rid of that stroke fill it in with black 
with command plus we're gonna zoom in I just click somewhere else command team and then we're gonna write some random text in there select the text first so let's say uh established go to these options over here you can make it all into caps command T I can shrink it you can shrink it this way or you can go over here and mess with it but for this video I'm just gonna leave it there if you want to increase the space between the letters here's the option for that same thing you can either hold option and drag a layer here or here or command J to make a duplicate of it. Command T to transform, pull that down. And we're just going to write a random date. 2019. Make that smaller. There you go. And that's how you make a clipping mask on Photoshop. So now let's make this next image in Adobe Illustrator. All right, so we're in Adobe Illustrator and I'm gonna show you guys how to make a clipping mask here doing this design. So with the letter M, I'm gonna make a shape, give or take this way. Like a rectangle and I purposely make it red so I know it stands out I know where it's at holding option you make a copy of that using the align window here I can move this to the corner holding option to move this again line it to the left and the bottom so the funny thing about Adobe Illustrator is that it's different from Photoshop as far as the clipping mask. It's actually backwards. Um, so you grab your image. I'm gonna grab our images here. Put it right next to your shape. Make sure the shape is right under. I mean, make sure the image is right under the shape. And select both the layers, holding shift. Right click, make clipping mask. And the photo is gonna go inside of there. So it makes a like a folder. Go to the image and holding shift. You can stretch that out. And same thing again, rinse and repeat. Grab your middle image here, move it right over. And again, it's backwards from Photoshop. You actually have to put the image under the shape you're trying to make a clipping mask with. So you select your shape on the layers, holding shift, make a clipping mask, makes a folder, open up the folder, select the image, holding shift, stretch it out. There you go. Maybe make that a little bit bigger. There you go. And rinse and repeat. Grab your other image, make sure it's above. Put it directly under the shape in the, in the layer section here. Select both of them with shift, right click, make a clipping mask, open the folder up, select the image, hold shift, stretch it out to your liking here. And same as the other one, we're gonna add some text to this. So let's make a new layer here with the letter T. I'm gonna type the same language. The Smiths. It's called Badger Delight, the text, if anybody's wondering. I got that in thefont.com. Okay. What that size. Select the text, 
hold option, drag it, makes a copy. Highlight it. Smiths. And I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. Just so it looks a little interesting. Then I'm going to type in more text. With this one, I'm going to use caviar dreams. I like that text a lot. Use bold. Holding the letter V, select text. Actually, T to select the text so you can retype what you want in there. Established May 8th, 2019. Just made that date up. Okay, we're going to select that. I'm going to go to the section here in all caps. Make them much smaller. Align it to the center, move it down, go to characters, and right here, the spacing, I'm going to center that up here, and align it to the center, and just stretch it out. You can actually type in here the, the spacing you want, it's a little too thick, Let's say regular works, there you go. Yeah, there you have it. So you make a clipping mask and Adobe Illustrator. All right, that's pretty simple. And I hope you guys find this really useful and you use it for different techniques. If you guys like this kind of content, consider following and subscribing. And remember to stay humble, remain teachable and fight for your dreams.